Hey everyone, it's Yayuna, and today we're going to the Picture Rocks Petroglyphs here in Tucson, Arizona. It's my last day, so I figured I would do at least one of the things that I've had on my list to show you guys forever. So get ready, bring your water, bring some sunglasses, bring good tennis shoes, good walking shoes. Um, yeah, definitely a parasol because it's hot out here. All right, guys, so our first stop is here at the Redemptionist Renewal Center. You drive in, when you drive through, there's a whole community here. Um, there's monks and nuns here, and there's a little chapel back here. But we're gonna follow through, and it drives back this way, and um, there's areas you can park to be a little closer. You can park here and walk up, or go through, so Renewal Center. Um, so there's a real community that lives here. Can't wait to show you guys. I've been wanting to show this to you guys, so I'm pretty excited I get this opportunity before I leave. All right, guys, I got my water. I left my umbrella in the vehicle, oh well. But we're just gonna walk around, so let's get going. This says the way of the cross. They actually have a labyrinth. They have the Stations of the Cross and um, the picture rocks. It's just a really pretty area, so let's get walking. It's not really a hike today. Um, it's just a little path, a little area to hang out. But um, So for those who wonder, these are prickly pears. And these are prickly pear fruit. And you can make jam, jelly candy out of these. Um, and the paddles themselves, you know, you remove the stems and everything, the, the stickers and everything, and you can actually eat those too. And they actually make a really good salad. All right, and here, up close on a saguaro, so if you're gonna notice the ridges, and that's so that when the rain falls on it, the water comes dripping down the body of the, of the saguaro and it reaches the roots. So this one's not quite 50 years old yet. It doesn't have arms. Like that one right there is developing little buds. I don't know if you can see them right there. See those little buds right there? Those are arms, so that one's about 50 years old. Now I'm gonna have to be careful over here. I don't know if I'm hearing rattlers or what I'm hearing, so we'll just walk carefully. Let's go. So this is the picture rocks area. There's crosses and stuff. So around here is where you're gonna see the petroglyphs. Creosote. These are teddy bear choya, or jumping, jumping cactus and if you walk by them they actually do kind of jump onto you know it kind of they'll hook onto you and stuff so these are very careful they look fuzzy but they're not fuzzy they really are stickers and they hurt they've really built it up since i first came here the first time ever to check it out but on up here up there there's petroglyphs We'll see them better once we get down. But here's a mature saguaro. Saguaro. S A G U A R O is how you spell saguaro. So they're really careful around here about the petroglyphs. Um, a few years back, before I moved from Tucson down to um, Safford, some drunken fool had come out here and had defaced some of the petroglyphs which was pretty messed up i i can't remember i i don't know if it's um the tohono otom or which tribe it is that left petroglyphs here hopefully they have signage and stuff so i can read it to you guys unfortunately because of the sun you can't quite see but here's a few petroglyphs right there if you see that right there um They're engraved all over the place here, so we'll try to walk around some more and look on the other side. The other spot I'll take you guys to is going to be a little bit better, but there are two places here in Tucson, and they're by each other, where there's petroglyphs. Um, you're not allowed, unfortunately, to climb up, again, because people defaced and ruined a good thing, so, you know... And around here, people also, you know, 
Um, right now I'm walking in a wash. This is a wash. So when there's rains, it comes rushing through here. And um, it's really pretty. And people ride their horses around here. It's pretty cool. Okay, I see a few more. And it's a little bit better lighting. So I'll turn it around and you guys can look at it. All right, guys. See, there's little arrows there. Um, if you look up further, there you go. Like goats, mountain goats, sheep. Those were carved in. It looks like a lot of the stuff got defaced, unfortunately. Somebody came in and scratched stuff off. Um, they ended up doing their own name. I mean, they were really foolish and disrespectful. It's really sad because these are pretty cool. Now, there's a little path right over here that goes up. And if you follow this, it leads you to the 12 stations of the cross, which is, you know, like Jesus says, uh, last day, how he did the Via Dolorosa or whatever, how he carried the cross and everything. It's represented out back here. It's really pretty. Um, but I am going to go and try to find the labyrinth. In this direction, that right there, that that mountain right there is called Sombrero Peak because when you're driving up to it, it actually looks like a sombrero. So yeah, all right. But I don't want to be over here because there's really not that many people and it is the desert and it is hot and I don't want to get bitten by snakes. So I'm going to be around where people are or at least more of a chance where I'll be found, found by people. This is where we go to get to the little labyrinth. It's not really a labyrinth, you know, like a tall wall. It's just rocks laid out that you walk around in circles. Oh, the labyrinth is a holy walk. Our lives are a journey, a sacred journey. We're not always sure where our lives are going. There's much gr grief, sorrow, and hardship, as well as beauty and grace. It's a way to try to tap into some voices that come deep within. Not that we're ever gonna figure everything out, but that we give ourselves time to ponder. There is no correct way to walk in the labyrinth. You start at your entrance just to your left and follow the path to its center. You can go along as fast or slow as you like, but always remember there are fellow journeyers or along the sacred path and to exercise a simple quiet spirit as you make your way. Once in the center, take some time to see where you are along in the path of life. Maybe the spirit of God will touch you in a deep way, but you must always give yourself a bit of time to listen. After you've listened for a bit, make your way back to the labyrinth the same way you came in. We hope your journey is a peaceful one. May the Lord be with you. I'm gonna do the labyrinth. I'm gonna set you guys up and you guys can watch me. I'll probably do that part as a speed, you know, but I do like the little labyrinth, so I'm gonna walk it. Well, unfortunately, some of the spots, see that where that's scratched off? There was stuff around here. I have photos from before. We'll have to just go out to the other picture rocks area, which is out that way. We follow the road along and it goes all the way around and you go down a dirt road. So we'll go do that. Let's go.